Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. This dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight. And it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts, there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape room, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom, right. but his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half -block. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see it. I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting through step one and step two before his opponent even realizes it. now he's been on the leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot switch or a headlock or an inside trick. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 16 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, Paul Belju! And now, introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record out. 38 wins, 14 losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Clinton Jackson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go with round one. And when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. And quick. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself tapping and really wondering why. Why did I not engage him in this game? going and now the fight's over but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first you've heard us say it before but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight it can have a bigger effect it certainly did here tonight So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called to stop for this contest at one minute, two seconds of the very first round. Going the winner by knockout, 
Quinton! 